Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi, and welcome to the Crafty Corner. All right, so let's double check that I know what day it is. It is Wednesday, July 7th, and my plan today is way different than I thought my plan was going to be just like a day ago. Um, anyway, it's all good, so you do get a video on Wednesday, you just didn't get it in the morning, because I was teaching yoga to little tiny kids well, medium tiny kids <laughs> this morning. Um, let me refresh my computer. I almost forget, sometimes I forget to do that. And currently that's where I look at the comments. So if you are watching this live on Facebook, there's gonna be a little, let's see, nope, this side, a little red live right up there. And that means you're right here right now, which is super cool, all right? But if it's not there, that means you're just watching the replay. And that is also super cool. Or if you're watching on YouTube, it's a replay there. Super cool. All the information is good for you. Let me see if I can fix this just a hair. Okay, um, so what are we talking about today? Today begins your once or twice a week. I won't do it every day of, normally I do three uh, crafting videos per week, normally. Occasionally there's two, you know, it just happens, life. Um, but anyway, they won't all be product spotlights, but one or two of them will be over the next month. So I can help you make your list of what you want to purchase when the holiday catalog goes live. If you just can't resist and you can't wait, you could totally join my team now. But if you wait till August and join my team, you get a free bundle. So that's also something to think about. Hi, Lisa, welcome. So let's do a tiny bit of housekeeping so I can tell you about my classes. Um, give you some teasers and make you want all the things and then we're gonna talk oh what are you wondering what bundle are we talking about this video is about the peaceful deer bundle it is super sweet super super sweet okay so let's see if I can press all my tech buttons in the right order are you guys ready okay here is the desk oh all right let's see if I can do this right oh I think I can and here is me and the desk. Oh, I'm so tickled that I finally figured that out. I mean, you just gotta press your buttons in the right order. Hi, Louise, welcome. All right, so I did have some friends to this slightly spontaneous, I only gave you a couple hours notice, so if you just weren't looking at Facebook or uh, Instagram to see that, you might not have known. Totally fine. I know I say that a lot, but it really is true. I mean, we're just crafting things. But they're beautiful things. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Okay, so we have a new catalog. If you need a catalog, let me know. I will start sending them out um, Friday or possibly Monday. So um, I wanna hopefully get a little something extra to put in there for you, but we'll see. You might just get a catalog like this. Well, they won't say Audra, but you might just get some. Okay, so I'm gonna put that somewhere. Super, super fun teaser. Okay, so I've been talking about this Maker's Mojo um, craft retreat. I can only barely show you this, okay? This is an exclusive product project. If you like my, um, and don't worry, I'll give you a really fast teaser, but if you like making little photo books, which is one of my favorite um, non-card things to do. You know, some people like to make boxes. Okay, I like to make other non-card things too, but one of my favorite ones is coming up with cute little folios. So do you see this? This, are you ready? Really quick. This is a photo wallet, right? Watch this. This is like old school, you know, like in the movies where the guys would have like all the girls' pictures and they would go like this. If you want to learn how to make this, you have to do the Maker's Mojo craft day. It's an online day. You would get all the information and I will have it in multiple uh, papers, multiple um, designs. I'm going to teach you how to make it. So that, and then the other one for me is if you wanna learn about our, and I can't find my little pieces that I made yesterday, um, but if you wanna learn about our soft pastels, that is my second class that I'm teaching. And what's my teaser? Because I can't find the pieces I made. Here is one of the uh, things I'm gonna teach you. Okay, and then I'm gonna teach you how to color on black paper, I'm gonna teach you how to color it on white paper. It's gonna be super fun. All right, what else housekeeping? Um, the RCP is due by this weekend for the just uh, Christmas in July class. So if you would like to make two of each of these cards, check out that. And then go look at events. Uh, just Cards RCP is due on Monday. And I have, I think, four, because I think someone's taken one, four banner kits left. All right, we did it all. Okay. Yay, Lisa. Yeah, Lisa signed up for the um, Maker's Mojo. So what it is, just in case, can I, oh, I'll just let you do that. Look at the little thing. 
it's just an online event. You don't have to have your supplies ready that day. That's not the intention. The intention is it's like we are creating a full day of crafting experience. It's like getting a whole bunch of tutorials all in one place. And there's four of us and we all have different styles and different things and I've seen a couple really fun things and some things I'm excited to learn. So that's what that is. Okay, but now look at this peaceful deer. Okay, so this caught my eye pretty quickly in the holiday catalog. It is a photo polymer set. There's hardly any stamps in there. I've got most of them on blocks. And what I like about it, I like to, well, I, I always like so, okay, I like three things. One, I adore these trees. And I know you're gonna say, but Audra, you have that evening evergreen like you showed us on that card. Let me get, get it so I can show you the whys. Trees are different, and some days you want different styles. So this tree is very elegant and super detailed. But then this tree, and here I've got it stamped, kind of similar, right? This tree, I don't know, it's a little bolder. It has nice lines. I, I don't know. I just really liked it. So I like, oh, I missed one when I was stamping. <laughs> I missed that there's four. I only got out three. Well, there are four. And then there are these cute deer. So if you like to color, you can color them. There's this one where it's all um, colored in and it says, oh, what fun. There are beautiful sentiments. I mean, this Merry Christmas, I know, I know there's lots of Merry Christmases, but it's so pretty and it's a nice size. I just love it. I love this. It's the best time of, of year. I shouldn't say of the, it's the best time of year. I don't know, I gotta ask somebody. But this one, sending love and, and peace this season. The snowflakes are super cute. It's very, very cute. And there is a punch. So, you know the fun thing about punches, right? You can make the images, I need paper, with, um, without stamping, which is sometimes super fun. What if, it's a big one. What if you, I mean, look at this little deer. He's so, he, she is so cute. Hold on, I'm looking at, we got a shadow, we got this in a hot spot, okay. Super cute, there's a little circle, so you can have a brown nose, or you could do a Rudolph nose. Okay, I've got some red here. So see that little circle, and it would make, um, on the little penguin, it would make perfect penguin eyes. Oh, there it went, I'm like, where'd the circle go? Okay, hold on, you cannot pick it, it is very tiny. Okay, it's not, it's gonna be attached, but little red circle. And then, get a darker color. Then there are antlers you can punch out. And look at this. So you can, and if you have little kids or medium kids, I mean, you know I can't keep that little guy on there. How much fun would they have making little Rudolphs? Let me, I'm gonna zoom in on the little Rudolph. Ooh, I can't zoom in on the little Rudolph. Okay, I'll have to learn a new skill. <laughs> but anyway, he's super cute just like that. So I think that is super fun. And let me show you, I've already made two cards and then I'll talk about the other, I do have two cards here somewhere. Oh, here we go. So here is this one, I, I know you can't see the catalog, but I case this one from the catalog. So here's the deer with the one that says, oh, what fun. There's his little red nose, there's his little antlers. Isn't that cute? And look at the trees and this paper you're probably like audra what pack of paper is that this paper was free free paper let me show it to you i love dsp but i love free dsp even more and stampin up what is it? i should use a good what's that um stampin up hit it out of the park baseball style like base is loaded home run on the designer series paper <clears throat> in the free celebration uh brochure and in the catalog. I think this is one of their best paper years ever. Those artists, are they're doing some good stuff. So this paper pack is called Peaceful Prints. You don't have to use it with the deer set. You don't. But when I do product spotlights, I try to keep the things together because if you're shopping, it, it helps sometimes to have everything where it matches and you don't have to think a lot. So that's why I'm keeping it together. So look at this. Hold on, that one's cut. <laughs> so there are... I like this one a lot. It kind of looks like um, those aspen trees, right? There's the green one that I'm gonna show you a card with already. 
And actually, we're gonna use this one. Look at those stripes. I mean, those are just beautiful stripes. Oh, and look at this. We can punch this little deer out with our punch. So if you wanna go like that, I love these snowflakes. Is there anything else? I think there's, oh yeah, we're gonna use this one. So we're gonna case another card that you can't see. So you're gonna think, oh, Audrey, you thought of such a cute card. And then later you're gonna say, oh, I see, she copied it from the catalog. And you know what, it's okay to copy it from the catalog. It's okay to copy it from me. It's okay to copy it from people who post it on the internet. If you post it on the internet, it is fair game. If you can remember who did it, it's always fun to say, like, I'll try if I know who, who made it. But look at this side, super pretty. So this paper is really nice and you get it for free. This bundle, I think it's only like uh, 30, 34 ish dollars. So you would definitely have to add some cardstock or some ink or some ribbon to that. Okay, and then look at this card. Doesn't this card look totally different from this card? And they were made from the same, same bundle. So on this one, all I did was put the bunny. Can you see the little bunny? Look how cute the little bunny is. Oh, he's so cute. Um, and I stamped three of the trees, which now I realize there are four trees. This is the green paper from the DSP pack. Uh, this sentiment is in this stamp set. Those snowflakes are in the stamp set. And then I just added some black cardstock and this um, sparkly uh, black ribbon. Hello, Deb. Hi, Barbara. Okay, got a few more friends here. Oh, that's fun. So, two cards already. And we are going to attempt to make one card together. And I'm totally going to sneak and open the catalog to the side of me where you cannot see it so that I can case this card. <laughs> because I have it in my mind, but, and you're going to laugh, I will show you how they, oh, it's in the celebration brochure. I will show you how they uh, kind of did it. And you're going to, I can't, I don't know if I can do crooked papers, but we'll see. Okay, so we'll move this cute little punch deer out of the way. We need some paper because we are going to, you know what? I'm gonna stamp the other deer. So the jumping deer comes in two, two ways. <laughs> That's stuck there. It comes in the way with the words, like the card I showed you, and then it comes in just regular. So if you like to color, you can totally color this deer. So you know what, I probably shouldn't color on, it makes the videos too long. So, um, but I will show you what it looks like stamped and I will color one later. If you just like um, winter scenes or not even winter, so I live in Maryland and it is deer season. Not, not, I don't, I'm, I know there's hunting and it's okay for people to hunt deer. It's actually probably good for our deer population because it probably gets way too big around here. But we see deer all the time when we're driving in the car, sometimes walking on the paths and it's super fun. I'm always like, oh, look at the deer. So I have a fondness for the regular ordinary deer. I don't know what they're called. If anybody knows, you can tell me. Um, I'm gonna go soft suede. So I think that deer are just so pretty and that's and these were drawn so well. Let's see if this is too dark. We're gonna. Ooh, it's not too dark. I like it, you can see it very clear. Oh, what fun, I love that little deer. Okay, so you have your little deer and then you take your punch and you slide it in and you wanna line up, let me see, am I getting that right? Okay, you wanna line up a nice little border all around the pieces. And then what I do is I pause, I hold it a little and then punch it out. Oh, he's so cute, look how cute. Oh, is it focus? It's not in focus. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now let me talk to you about these antlers. Um, this one I'll color later and cut it out. So the antlers, you can get little antlers. There is a stamp. Hold on, I've got a couple I stamped here. Let me show you. But, but, and I'm going to show you why they did it. It's not the easiest thing in the history of mankind to get those antlers stamped. So let me show you. Hold on, I've got a strip of white here somewhere. Here we go. So, I know, Barbara, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, and Lisa says she has deer in her backyard, but they are so, I, I, think, I do think deer are real pretty. And we have problems in our neighborhood when sometimes, and there are the dots. If you wanna make a baby deer on the smaller one, there are little dots in this stamp set. But um, sometimes the mama deer, I've learned this now, they leave their babies in a safe place. And it may be your backyard in a suburban area, but um, you're not supposed to move them or touch them. The mamas are going out to get food and eat and then they, they come back. So anyway, I thought that was really neat. Okay, 
So the antlers, if you want them stamped, so we'll stamp them an early espresso. And I'll show you, let me get another piece of white paper. Hold on. Okay. The reason they made this stamp like this, and I mean, obviously I didn't like call them up and ask them, but the stamp, the deer antlers are together. They do not, do not in any good way fit with your punch, okay? So what you have to do is you look at your punch, okay? Hold on, I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show you the punch and then I'll show you why they did it this way. You look at your punch and this one is upside down and kind of to the side. So I'm gonna stamp that one. You have to do it, you have to stamp it twice. You gotta use your white scrap. You've got hundreds of little pieces of white scrap. So try to just save the little strips. Okay, and then you get it in there and you punch it out. Okay, so you have one antler. Then you look at your other antler stamp, uh, pun, uh, bleh, punch and it is kind of this way and you stamp that on your paper. And then, and then you line that up. Hold on, I gotta get it in here. Whoa. I know, it takes a lot of concentration. You guys are always probably laughing at me. Okay, and that comes in there. Oh, I did that one really well. And then, of course, you're gonna have a big mess, okay? But then you get your, um, your antlers that way. And then, although, wait, I gotta show you guys. This is super cute. Look at this little mushroom, okay? I don't know. It's a little desk. It's a little desk vacuum. Isn't that the weirdest thing you ever saw? But a bunch of my friends were getting them. I went on Amazon. I had to get one too. And I had to get the one that looked like a Mario mushroom because I just thought it was so cute. Ooh, the top is coming off. I'll have to fix that. I think I dropped it on the floor the other day. Okay, so that's those punched. Now, if you were going to stamp them, okay, where's that deer? What color is this? Early expression. I feel like the, the um, antlers are usually darker, but I don't know. I know not very much about deer except for what so far I've shared you. But if you were gonna stamp and make a scene, I'm gonna stamp it up here so that way in case I wanna cut it out and use it later, I can. And then you wanted the antlers. The reason they're together is so that if you're feeling lucky, oh my gosh, look. See how pretty that looks? And that comes together all seamlessly. So that's why they're together on the um, block. And when you punch them out, you have to do a little bit of work, okay? So I just wanted you to know that because I did figure that out this afternoon. All right, so I have a deer and I have some antlers. Okay, so there's my deer and my antlers. This deer is not gonna be a Rudolph. This is gonna be a regular deer, but he has words on him. Okay, now, I've got, I'm looking for my foam. This is a photopolymer stamp set. So I like to um, use a foam mat. This is, it's a double size of this and I just cut mine down because when I had classes in my house, it, people didn't really need a big one. Okay, we're gonna stamp trees. And what we're gonna do is do where you just kind of stamp them off. Okay, so here's the deal. Where's that piece? Evening evergreen is beautiful but it is super, super strong. I liked today, this is soft succulent with um, shaded spruce. The DSP is garden green though. So I'm gonna use, cause I wanna use the DSP, I'm gonna use garden green. And what's fun is you can just use one color and you can get really nice trees if your ink pad is inky. So hopefully my ink pad is inky. <laughs> I just read Maria's comment. She loves the vacuum and the sound it makes picking up scraps. That makes me laugh totally. That really makes me laugh. Okay, so we're gonna put like a cabillion trees on this little fun shape. This shape is from the Happy Hippos um, dies. All right, ready? So we're gonna just stamp a tree and stamp a tree and stamp a tree. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, but I don't mind it. I got the, the um, okay, so I should only do two. And if I go over the edge, 
I need to re-ink it and stamp off because it's giving me the dots. So I'm gonna do this. The dots from my die. Isn't that funny? That's funny, I got a big blotchy. I didn't look at that one, but it, it worked out fine. Okay. Aren't these trees beautiful? And could you imagine, I know some stamp set or we could cut a little tiny star die with, um, from the stars, there's a, there's a really tiny one. We could totally do like one little tree and give it some, um, I feel like I want more in there, but you know what? I would need to stamp these off. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so if we stamp them off, I want like lots of trees. Like our deer is in the forest, safe and sound. You know what, I want this really light one. Yes. I like that. So look at all those trees. Isn't that pretty? I know I make this card like five times every year. It is such a fun card design. Okay. So that's our little tree forest. Okay. And then we have a deer. And this deer is going to be kind of just, she kind of just jump. Oh, you know what? Look. Okay. I need some taller trees. Do you see how like I can't see them? Okay. But let me get my green back. Hopefully I don't have to start over. Because I want him up in the sky a little bit. All right. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go all brave. No, I can't do it because it'll be too dark. I'm going to stamp it off. But I need some taller trees. Yes, that works. Ooh, and I got to do one there now because I've got a line. Okay, that's better. All right. So now my little guy. Yes. See, I needed some, some up to go there. Okay, so now we're gonna cut a little DSP. I was gonna pre-cut it, and then I decided that sometimes I know some of us are more beginning stampers, or we were maybe you always buy kits from people like me, and you're really good at stamping and putting things together, but you don't cut your paper yourself. So, we are gonna cut some paper. We are gonna cut this, and I'm totally guessing. I feel like it is, let me see what one inch looks like. I'm gonna go one and a quarter because you can always cut it down and it's not gonna waste too much if it's a little too big and we decided we needed it. Okay, that's my scorer. So I'm gonna go one and a quarter and then I'm gonna cut this, a card front, this is gonna be a vertical card. A card front is four and a quarter across. So I'm gonna cut it, a lot of times we do four, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three and three fourths. Wait a minute, let me look at my piece. Nope, I'm gonna do four. Same for the same reason. I could cut it down. Okay, so we're gonna cut three of these. And as I said, so people who didn't hear, I'm just casing a card from the catalog. Although I'm using some things different because I don't have everything they used on this card. It's in the celebration brochure for my demo friends, so you guys can look. And then as of next week, all my customers will start getting catalogs. Okay, and then look at this paper. I love these little trees. They're so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna make this three-fourths. I'm gonna make it smaller than my one. Ooh, but I'm gonna try to keep it even. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut those at four. Oh my gosh, look how cute that looks when you just cut a line of those little trees. That is super cute. I've got some ideas rolling around my head now of what to do with that. Okay, so we have those. And in their card, they did not do an extra layer. I'm going to see if I could, can I just put it on the front? It's really hard for me. You guys are going to laugh. It is so, I like layers, and I'm always adding lots and lots of layers. But I think I can do it. Okay, so in their little brochure, this is what they did. And I know these artists, I mean, they went to art school, most of them, unlike myself. Okay, so this is telling me that my four is too long. So we are going to cut these down. Come back here, trimmer. But we can do two at a time. We're gonna cut it to three and three fourths. We just wanna be able to see more of the edge. Cause I think it looks nicer that way. We'll do this one at three and three fourths. So this is how when I'm crafting, I mean, you cut the paper, you try it out. That looks really cute. You try it again, you know, you just gotta keep playing with it until you get it the right size. And every once in a while you make something. What did I throw away the other day? Oh, remember the four pieces DSP cards I shared? 
I had one, I tried to like make some up and I got the papers on so crooked. I was like, this just has to go in the recycle bin. This cannot be used. Um, but that was only one out of all six of them. So I didn't feel too bad. Okay. So what they did, I don't know. Can I do wonky paper? They put their paper all, <laughs> my new favorite word is wackadoo. <laughs> in case you need a word that expresses that things are just going a little crazy. And then, can I do it? Let me see. Yeah, so they put it kind of close, and then the other piece goes on there. Oh, so I only need two of those. Are these straight? All right. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I, think I can do wackadoo today. I think I can. It's been such a long day. Oh, and then look. Oh, but see now, my piece is bigger then what they use this, there's a new dye and a little bubble. Um, those things that you put over your cakes that look fancy. So I'm gonna have to get more creative because this is not gonna work, you can't see that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep, <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say wackadoo all the time. Oh, we were joking, we taught kids yoga this morning and every once in a while when you get a room full of kids and you're just having fun, Things go a little crazy. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go crazy and put this all on Ziggy Zaggy. All right, it's going on Ziggy Zaggy. I hope. Because <laughs> you know what I would want. I would want it super straight. Although I'm always not getting it perfectly straight. So there's that issue. Okay. And remember, you can cut these, punch these deer out. That does work. Okay, so I'm putting these a little closer because then I'm gonna put the green instead of the green in between because my pe my uh, tree piece is bigger. I guess it should be opposite, yeah? Okay. <laughs> it's gonna look cute when it's all put together, I'm pretty sure. And then I'm gonna put some trees down here and some trees up here. I love trees. It's so funny because um, that question, I think I asked it in my last uh, catalog launch, you know, little engagement questions. I was like, beach or mountains, which one calls you? They both call me. Like, legit, they both call me. At different times, at different places. Okay. What's going on? Audra made a crooked card. All right, if anybody on my team sees that, oh, Maria, I didn't see your comment until just now. Turn it lengthwise. I could have done it that way. But I'm gonna go this. But that looks really cute, look at that. Okay, so this piece, I'm gonna build this, and then this is all gonna go on popped up. All right, so where are our little antlers? So the antlers, if you're using them punched out, to me, they seem bigger than they need to be, and I guess they should be the same. Does it matter? Let me look at the stamp. Oh, I have it backwards, okay. I'm just gonna assume that the Stampin' Up! artists looked at deer antlers and knew what they were doing, because I do not. All right, we need some glue dots. We need glue dots, I love glue dots. They're like the best thing. Okay, everything's the best thing, I know. All right, so we're gonna put a glue dot there. And a glue dot here. I will tell you, sometimes the cards we designed together, that one I made a couple months ago with the dogs, that was a great card. Everybody loved that in the Just Cards class. And I was like, well, my friends on the internet helped me design that card. Okay, let's see. Make sure I got the up, okay. And then we're gonna put this behind. And the head is kinda little, so you gotta, like I didn't press it down yet. I made a couple of these earlier and I was like, okay, don't press it down until you're ready. Oh, but look, I got it, I like that. I'm good with that. Ooh, except it moved. Hold on. Okay. So there are my little antlers. There is my little deer. All right, let's see. So, I love my forest. I love my deer. Okay, my deer's going on with glue dots. And then am I missing anything? Oh, the greeting. I'm going to stamp that, uh, just that nice Merry Christmas. And I might do it on crumb cake. Okay, so I'm gonna put another glue dot on top of the antlers on the back. If you do dimensionals, I did dimensional this little guy, but 
he has skinny legs, so I cut really thin strips to put behind the legs. That's why I decided on this one, I'm just gonna dimensional up the piece. But on that one, I had to do it. I mean, he had to go. I know some people might not put them um, behind the legs, but I, I don't know. When, they, when they're dimensional up, I felt like he could fall over and lose some legs. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so let's look. And this deer is gonna go here. I think that's cute. Okay, and then we're gonna stamp. We'll try it in, oh, I think the crumb cake with the black is gonna go just nicely. And let me show you this Merry Christmas. You guys are gonna love it. It is super cute. And it's one thing I will show you, and I'll show you back that card I just made that um, I cut it in half. Like, like the Stampin' Up! The Concept Artists, they do that all the time. I'll see some different way, and they stamp the things and cut them apart. It's kind of um, kind of one of the things they do in the catalog a lot, which I do like. Okay, and now let's decide if we need to cut this narrower. I think it's gonna come right there, and this is gonna come right, yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's put this on with dimensionals. I love this shape, and I went with the big one. There is one smaller. And don't you love a fresh, a fresh sheet of dimensionals? I do. I mean, I'll use them till they're totally gone. I use every little edge, but it is fun when you get to like break into a new piece. Okay, we're gonna put those on. I put a lot because this is a big piece. You want it to like stay popped up. Okay, card, dear. All right, get the card straight. breathe okay and then my Merry Christmas could I add, I'm gonna not but you could I think you could add a little twine or you could do something this only needs one dimensional and then we'll use a glue dot on the other side no oh, apparently I didn't pick up my new sheet <laughs> get to use the edges of that one okay so that one's gonna go here hopefully I picked the right side I didn't double check I did all right and I like it down here and then you're gonna tuck a glue dot under that one so it doesn't wiggle around on you. Hold on, do I have any? Oh, there they are. Oops, the glue dot is stuck to my finger. Okay, and then tuck a glue dot under there. And there you go. Look at that card. Oh wait, I was too close. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I think that's kind of cute. I think that is very cute. Okay, so let me show you all the cards. And okay, so we have a punch. We have a super lovely stamp set. Super good, okay. There's the paper you can get for free. And then look at this, three different cards. Okay, I'm, I did go heavy on, the, the color scheme is the same, but look at that. I think they all look pretty different and I think that's really fun and any of these you could make lots of like you can make repeats if you're making um, some people like to make repeats for holiday cards I tend to make two to four of each one and then I get a whole bunch and I spend my time um, figuring out let me get up here figure I spend my time figuring out oh, who would like this one who would appreciate that one it takes me a little extra time so that is my information on the peaceful deer Peaceful Deer Bundle, I was just double checking the name. So if you like that, put it on your list, take a note, circle it in your catalog if you already have one and take a note and put it on post a note and when you get your catalog, then you can go circle it. Um, thank you guys for watching, this was super fun. I'm so glad some, some friends could join me today. Um, give me a like, give me a love, let me know that you're watching. If you see this on YouTube or Facebook later, have questions, feel free to ask them. Sometimes on Facebook, I don't get a notification when you ask a question later, but what I try to do is go back and check it after a couple days. Um, it's weird, sometimes it's just wonky. If you comment on YouTube, um, I do get an, I get an email from them that um, you commented, and then I'll go back and, you know, and answer them. So thank you for watching. Um, Friday, we will also hang out at five. Um, will we hang out at five? No, you know what, Friday, we will, we'll just reverse today and Friday. Friday, we will hang out at 11.30, so it's a lunchtime because my painter got delayed and so my house is halfway torn apart and now they're coming on Saturday. So the adventures, I will post pictures 
um, at least in my stories on Instagram and on Facebook. But yes, so we're getting a big paint inside painting job done. Um, not all the rooms, but a lot of the rooms on, um, now it's on Saturday instead of today. Okay, so thank you so much. I will see you next time. Stay crafty, my friends.